It's a tribute to fathers who hide their problems to make the days of the children happy. The children do not understand them at the time. They complain and expect their parents to provide what they need, oblivious to their suffers and pains. In fact, they have no idea of being a parent. They live as if they will be kids forever, blessed with the hugs of the parents. But no, this gift isn't immortal. Parents become old as children grow up. Time passes and they experience what their father and mother experienced before. They become parents of themselves and arrive at the age of their own parents. Thinking back, they are capable of sympathizing now instead of complaining. But it's late and this kind of sympathy turns into a kind of regret. After some reveals how our parents are vivid in our memories. There are a father and a daughter who are rarely together because the parents are separated and the daughter lives with her mother. The movie opens with this father and daughter at a journey in Turkey. This is one of those rare opportunities. We are here to have a good time, the father Callum said to the daughter Sophie. But gradually the trip seems to be a farewell. There are massive scenes that take us out of that good time and into the depressed and insecure situation of Callum. He's horribly ill. When Sophie has lied on the bed and explains how everything seems tired to her and she feels as if she's sinking, Callum brushing his teeth lifts his head up and spits in the mirror. Concealing his anxiety replies that I mentioned before, we're here to have a good time. The essential paradox in this scene and in particular in Callum's character is seen all throughout the movie. The surface is laughter and cheer but the depth is boredom and worry. Callum is crying intensely exactly after Flow Travelers congratulated him on his birthday. Also there is a scene when he is desperately trying to via scuba diving equipment and hopelessly says, I can see myself at 40. Surprise, I made it to 30. Then camera stops on his face. He sighs and looks tired to the bone. Moments later, camera pans to the sea and moves slightly up and down by the waves. This is what Callum's spirit looks like. In the movie, we see frequently a party in a dark room with flashes strobing eerily and Callum difficult to distinguish dancing insouciantly. There is also adult Sophie in this room. For some reason, she looks nervous and later we discover she is angry at her father. She pushes him away. This room functions as a place in which adult Sophie is able to encounter with her dad, a chance she is apparently deprived of in reality. We know this trip is not taking place at the present time. It is remembered by Sophie through cam recorder footage, years later, so that room is somewhere in her mind that gives her the possibility of seeing her father and revealing her rage to him, which is likely caused by his departure from Sophie's life, or as the movie seems to suggest indirectly, from the world. At movie's end, there is a dance scene at the end of their trip. Callum begins to dance and little Sophie joins him reluctantly. The picture is cut to that flashing rave and is back again. A line by David Bowie is repeated when music becomes constantly louder. This is our last dance. This line leads us to conclude that Callum has committed suicide and had planned that trip as a farewell to Sophie. The title after some brings another brilliant scene to mind. Sophie and her father lying near the pool using aftersun and Sophie tries to rub the lotion on the skin herself. Her hands don't reach her back. So her father intervenes and rubs quickly and completely. This is the necessity of fathers to have our back. After some lotion represents that need. I can't finish my review without mentioning some pathetic acting of Paul Mescal. He was perfect, the plot depends on him and is deepened by his powerful performance. At last there is Charlotte Wells who with her personal inventive style of directing became one of the rare directors who become known by their first feature films. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel, like my video and comment on it. I'm curious what you think about my reviews.